So now we're going to look at a pie chart and how we'll be doing it in this class. Since a circle has 360 degrees, what we're supposed to do is multiply the relative frequencies with 360, and then we would end up using a protractor so we can find that portion of a circle. I don't expect you to use a protractor or really measure, multiply those numbers out. Just use some basic things you know about a circle. So here's how I like to think about it. I've got this circle, and I know if I go straight across, then the top half is 50%, so I can just visualize 50%. If I cut that in half, I have 25%. So if I can just focus on those three key shapes, or two if it's really only two, then I should be able to draw my pie chart without a protractor. And also, an important thing to think about is all of the lines that you draw on a pie chart need to go through the middle. Don't come over here and say, oh, I've got 10% here and 15% here and 20% here, or whatever the case may be all of the lines need to come out of the center. So I go ahead and want to start drawing the pie chart for the table below. I'm not told whether to use um, frequency or relative frequency, but it turns out you will always use relative frequency because we're taking a circle and cutting it into percents or parts. So first thing I'll do is draw my circle and label it. I was told that the category I'm defining is called grades or grade. So as I look these over, the thing that catches my eye in terms of the relative frequencies is the biggest one is 40% for the C's. Now when it comes to 40%, I know if I'd gone straight across, I would have had 50%, but I need a little bit less than that. So what I'm going to do is come across and then just up a little bit so that I get 40%. Okay, so I've got that taken care of. Now I want to look at what's left. The 23 or the 28% stand out to me. I'm going to go ahead and look at the 28%, which represents the Bs. But the thing I know is from this point, if I had gone straight down, I would have 25%. 28% is going to be just a little bit more than that. So I go slightly more to the right and label my B's as 28%. Now, if I had come straight across, I would have the remaining balance of 50%, which would be 22% if you know this line had gone straight across. And I need to draw 23%. So I just want to go the tiniest hair above going straight across which you can't even tell I did it on mine, but at least the 23% looks bigger than the 28%. So now I'm left with drawing the eight and the 3%. I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna make sure that the 8% looks a lot bigger and the 3% doesn't look like zero and I'm set. And there is my pie chart without using a protractor.